Hello everyone. In today's work fusion RPA Express tutorial 6, we will be learning about error handling. In this slides, you see there are types of error handlers listed. First is the try to complete and second is if an error occurred. So it's similar to the programming language uh, C or Java's try catch block where you try to complete a set of actions and if there is if an exception occurs it uh, rolls back to the error handler wherein an alternate uh, um, action or uh, scripts get executed to handle the error. Now let's validate this by creating a sample project. In this sample project, we will try to launch an application, say Notepad++, and if it fails, then we shall launch another application, say Notepad. That is, what we are trying to do is, we are trying to launch a Notepad++ in the try handler, and if the launching fails, we have written a script in the error handler that will instead launch a Notepad, if the Notepad++ launch is failing. Now let's create a new project, a new recording. Let's rename it to error handling. So in the left hand side, you see error handling is one of the components of action library. Drag the error handling script, expand it and under that, drag the launch application script application now you see it's expanded under the error handling you see try to complete true and if an error occurred true so under try to complete true you will place the launch application script and in that script you need to modify the path to your notepad plus plus executable Basically, it will try to launch the Notepad++ through this script. Now, if that fails in the error handler, we will try to uh, launch Notepad instead. So, there is a difference Notepad++ and Notepad. These two are two different applications. So, like you see in the error handler, we are trying to uh, create scripts. We are trying to launch the Windows run first by using WinR key combination. And then once the Windows run pops up on your screen, you're going to type notepad in it. So here you are using the enter keystroke script and the type text option. Further, when you have typed notepad, you need to hit the enter so that the notepad application launches. So here, in the enter keystroke, you are using the key combination enter. Now we are using another component, mouse, click. This is basically to get onto the um, notepad coordinate or the screen rather, notepad screen. What this is going to do is, yeah, the, the config configuration that we are trying to do here is click on coordinates. So your screen is divided basically onto coordinates. So we are giving click location as 100 and 200. So it means when the notepad is launched, your cursor will appear at that location on the notepad. And then you will start typing the text that we are going to enter here. Let's think of something. Um, so we are in the error handler. The text that we will be typing here is, let's use the notepad++ plus plus to launch, uh, to write and if it fails, then we shall use the notepad. Since we are in the error handler, if the 
execution reaches this point of error handler it means the error has occurred and we were unable to launch the notepad plus plus so the text that we're going to write here is looks like the launch of notepad plus plus has failed since we are in the error handler so we need to tell the system that okay the launch has failed which is why you're getting this message now similarly in the try to complete true block if the launching of notepad plus plus succeeds then we need to tell the user by typing this text or displaying it on the notepad plus plus that the launch of notepad plus plus has succeeded we can copy the same message and just modify here the control c won't work so you have to do a right click and then click on copy and again you have to right click and paste so instead of failed we are going to change it to succeeded because the try block is getting executed successfully in the error handler we are saying that the note, notepad plus plus launch failed and in the try to complete we are saying the notepad plus plus launch is succeeded now since we have given the correct path to the notepad plus plus that the executable that exists in our system so in the first run it should succeed and it should display this particular message on the screen let's play the recording looks like the notepad plus plus has launched you can see on the top right corner and the message is great succeeded so the launch of notepad plus plus succeeded it did it executed only the try block you can see with the green ticks and the error handler has been left as is so the error handler did not get executed now let's change the notepad plus plus uh, path let's add an s or let's create an error so that it does not file that executable so we have added an s next to the notepad so now this try to complete block the scripts script would fail and it will roll back to the error ha error handler wherein we are trying to in uh, launch a notepad see as you can see it did it did go into the error handler section and it did try to launch the notepad but uh, it did not type the text that the execution the notepad launch notepad plus plus launch failed so there's something wrong in the scripts let's debug that looks like the click uh, mouse script is creating an issue since it's a notepad probably this um, feature won't work it works only in the excel so let's delete that now that we have rectified the problem let's um, execute the recording so this time it should display a message that the launch of notepad plus plus failed it has to remind you that we had deliberately added an s in the notepad plus plus launch so it it is ought to be failing so here you can see that it did try to go in the error handler and launched a notepad instead of notepad plus plus and it did give us a message that the launch of notepad plus plus failed so our scripts have executed correctly now you can see that we have a green tick against the error handling error handler part as well and it is rightly dis displaying the messages notepad plus plus launches failed so if you observe the steps of execution it went into the try to complete true block and since it did not succeed in launching the notepad plus plus because we had added an s in the notepad uh, string so it went into the error handler and brought up the notepad instead 
with a message that the launch of Notepad++ failed. That's all folks for today. Hope you liked the video. If you have any suggestions or comments, please put it in the comment box. And I'll definitely try to reply to it. Thank you once again for watching the video.